Hi guys, welcome to day 19 of Start Now. I'm just talking about um, chasing after the promises that God has for you. Today's um, topic is kind of uh, difficult to explain, but I'm going to do the best I can do. Um, Matthew 6.10, when Jesus does uh, the prayer, um, he says, May your kingdom come soon. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So he, God says that, uh, Jesus says that God's kingdom is already established in heaven. So now on earth, he is establishing what he's already designed, and he's establishing it on earth. It's getting, and Jesus says, let it be established on earth as it is in heaven. So within that kingdom, God gives us, his children, uh, kind of portions of that kingdom or promised lands of that kingdom. And so we are... God blesses us. He doesn't need us, but he blesses us with the ability to bring forth that kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. And he does that in the form of promises. But one thing about promises that I noticed that I've struggled with and what I think other people struggle with too, is that we try to earn his promises. We, we try to be good enough to deserve his promises. And that's impossible. We will never be good enough to earn those promises. We will never um, just be perfect enough or do everything just as he likes it. We will never be able to um, just get those promises without his grace. We, we can only get them because of his grace. And so Romans eleven twenty nine is kind of the scripture that, that's going to help me explain this. Um, it reads, for the gifts and the calling of God are irrevocable. And the Amplified says, For he does not withdraw what he has given, nor does he change his mind about those to whom he gives his grace or to whom he sends his call. So God sends out his call and he sends out his grace to all of us on earth. We all have a calling and a purpose that he's given us and it's irrevocable. No matter, because we're not, we're not going to be perfect. He gives it to us by grace. The way we miss that call or the way we miss um, the gift he has for us if, is if we don't claim it, is if we don't reach for it. And I think a lot of times we don't reach for it because we think I'm not perfect. But the truth is, nobody's perfect. And, and if we're not going to claim it, the Bible says that his plan on he in heaven is going to be established on earth. So it's going to be established whether we claim our part of it or not. And so if we don't claim our part, if we don't claim our call, it's going to be given to somebody else because our faith, because our inability to fulfill his call for our life does not change his kingdom. It's going to come whether we are a part of it or not. Does that make sense? And if we don't do our part by faith, not because we can earn it or deserve it, just because we believe he is faithful who has called us then it's going to be given to somebody else who that person is not perfect either. Nobody's perfect. So you might as well claim the call that God has for you. And, and, and the way you claim it is you believe God at his word. You say, God, I'm not good enough for the call you've given me. I will never be perfect. I will always make mistakes. But I want the portion you have gotten for me, uh, you have for me. I claim it for myself. Because you know, that person's not perfect either. And that person's not perfect either. Nobody is. So you might, as well, you might as well claim what God has already given you because he's given that call out. It's irrevocable. It's yours by faith. You just have to grab it. And I hope that makes sense. I just, I think a lot of people don't even pursue the promises of God because they continually uh, fall or stumble like we all do. Or they, they, don't, they don't think they're good enough or they don't think they deserve it. Or they think that person can do better. Honestly, we're all imperfect people. Some people just hide it better than others. So you might as well capture what God has for you and, and, and believe God at his word and do it by faith. Not that you're going to ever earn it, but that he has promised you it. And his promises are irrevocable. And his grace can be extended to you just like it can be extended to anybody else. So that's what I just want to encourage and say today that don't let... Your imperfections stop you from claiming the great things that God has for you. Because 
God's will is going to come. His kingdom is going to be established. And he's, he's chosen to establish it through his imperfect children because he loves us, not because we're perfect. So I just claim it today. Don't, don't let someone else take what God has called you to do. I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow, tomorrow for day 20 of Start Now. Good night.